Hello everyone, so today what I got for you is the a guide on the Polyhedra network, right? And basically what that is, it's just another bridging thing, very similar how Layer Zero operates. I'll be giving you guys basically a full guide, a list of ways that you could possibly qualify for this airdrop. So let's just get right into it. So using this airdrop tracker, shout out to Cruise Control on Twitter for providing this. I kind of just saw it on Twitter and I was like, man, this thing is amazing. So I'm using it, right? But as you can see here, he does rank it at eight, A tier. Um, they do have $25 million in funding. It is currently in the alpha stage and it is a cross chain bridge basically, right? So let's just get right into it to see how we can qualify, right? And before we get into that though, if you would like to use this, I'll leave it in the description, obviously, but it's really nice because it has almost everything organized. So if you just press right here on the polyhedral right here, you can go down here to tasks and you could see virtually all the tasks that you could do on a polyhedral. It's organized really nicely. The only one thing is the OKX Cryptopedia that those quests have already expired and that has ended. So obviously you can't do that. But all these other things, I'm almost positive you could do, including the Galaxy. So let's just get right into it. So this is their main site. Um, you're going to need some money on whichever chain, preferably ETH. And be careful because, as you can see, if I, if I want to transfer my BNB over to Polygon right now, it's only going to cost me like 50 cents, right? But if I want to transfer it over to Optimism, so if I wanted to transfer to Optimism, as you can see, it's I have insignificant funds because it's like a damn near $6 gas fee. So up to you guys if you do want to go onto like Optimism, Arbitrum. There's a couple other chains where it is a bit high, like I don't think Linea is, scroll is, base sometimes is, depending on where you go. But just make sure whenever you're swapping, or not swapping, sorry, transferring over, that you are wary of the fees. What I personally do is I go from BNB to say like Polygon, because as you can see here, my fee is only, only going to be 0 .008 BNB. So it's like, it's really cheap. So it's like that's a three dollar gas fee compared to like the eight dollar that you would get normally, right? Or you could even go to like OP BNB, and your gas fee is gonna be a third of that, right? It's it's only gonna be like eighty something cents, fifty cents. Okay, there you go. So goal here is we want to build up transactions on different chains. We want to build up volume and just use this peri periodically at least probably i would say at least once a day i'll be honest at least something from the polyhedral network but we'll just go straight on to the next thing which is nft transfer so similar to how like on merkley if you are familiar with merkley you can mint an nft and you could just transfer it here here you could also create an nft so if you would like, you create your NFT here, select the network, select the supply, everything, and go back, select whichever blockchain you're going from wherever that uh, NFT is, enter the contract address and the token ID, or you could just choose to import it like that. Super, super simple, right? So as you can see here, if I want to, I could transfer this um what's it called nft i'll just do a little example here as you can see since i was importing it i'll just press next and i'll go to say combo i honestly don't even know what that chain is i'm just gonna approve this transaction here okay so you can see we love that gas fee oh, zero cents that's what that's what we like to see and then transfer and this is what we want to be doing because it does uh, and as you can see that's a lovely gas fee that we have here for transferring over our NFT it's super simple and it's 
if, if you're doing the right things, it's really cheap, right? So there's our transaction right there. So let's move on to the next thing that you could do, which is to send messages from network to network, right? So as you can see here, this is your little message screen that you got. You could go from like, say, Cordao over to like BNB chain, then or I'm going to select somewhere I actually have funds. Hold on. We'll go from Polygon over to like BNB. So we'll sign or send this message, right? Come up with the transaction here. So just like I said, be wary of gas fees because this is $1.77 to go to the BNB chain. Say if I want to go to like Cordell, for example, we'll see exactly how much. And it's only 25 cents to um, send that message over. So for the cost of one transaction, I could be doing what six transactions on here for the same price. So just be wary of the gas fees as usual, as usual, especially if you're farming on multiple wallets, whatever. The gas fees do add up, you know what I mean? So that's exactly how you send a message over on the polyhedral or using the polyhedral uh, bridge. Another thing that is a little more a little more niche. Sorry for the flashbang for all you people that are watching at night. Whatever that's on me, but this is the, an official collection made by Polyhedral. Now, these Panda Pandra Kings are also used for their game, their Legend game, I believe, and they do have a uh, a quest for that on layer three. I'll go over that in a second and I'll go over that extensively because it is slightly confusing, but there are other projects like say dimension they've airdropped to pudgy penguin holders. And I know wormhole, I believe is airdropping to like badlands holders or whatnot. So an Aptos might be to people that own their official collection on Aptos, right? So people obviously are going to be like oh man i should probably do this for other nft collections right possibly yeah but it will cost you right so one of these is 0.76 bnb which is about like 300 dollars, i believe so you could kind of see that it yeah 300 dollars minimum for a pandra king so if you do have that capital then I'm I honestly might do it. I haven't bought one yet, but I'm honestly thinking about it because it's only three hundred dollars. So if an airdrop pays me out, I'll just buy this and consider it as almost free. But obviously not. Um, over here, next thing we got are layer three quests. So I'll just go over a couple of them. How to bridge to OP BNB mainnet. That one's easy. That one's literally just what we did with the token, but you're just going from um, you're going from BNB to OP OP BNB, right? So for this specific quest, all you're literally going to do is it guides you really nicely. I'll have a link for this in the description too. But you're going to mint one of these polyhedral NFTs on whichever chain, and you're just gonna claim it and there's a limit of one per wallet per chain. So I personally did it on all six because I mean, they're free anyway, so why not? The only bad part was um, on the Ethereum network, I did wait till gas fees were quite low. So I do recommend doing that too because you don't wanna be spending $15 to mint a free NFT, right? Like what's the point of that? I'd rather pay like $2 when gas is low, right? And then, what you're gonna need to do is, like I just showed you earlier, how we import an NFT and we send it to a different blockchain, you'll need to do that for this class too. So you kind of get a two in one there, pretty nice if you ask me. Next thing, exploring the KTX exchange. Now this is just as simple as literally bridging over. So you're gonna to need to follow them on D Bank, follow them on Twitter. Obviously, they're farming their socials. First, you'll need to bridge at least 0 0.008 Ethereum from any of these eligible chains over to Arbitrum. So what I just showed you over. So 
you go from either Ethereum, Linea, OP, Scroll to Arbitrum. So for example, you would go from Optimism over to Arbitrum and you would do a minimum of 0 0.008. And I recommend doing at least slightly above that because slippage, whatnot. And we're gonna need some funds over for the KTX exchange anyway. But once you do that, you're gonna go to the KT exchange. All the links are literally in the layer three quest. So I might not even provide these links as because they're literally right here. It's kind of counterintuitive, I guess, but all you're, all you're gonna need to do here, as you could see, you just trade on the KTX Arbitrum with a minimum of that 0.008 ETH as collateral with 5X leverage. So this is very simple to do. All you're going to do is you're gonna connect your wallet up here and your balance is gonna show up right here. Make sure you have your 0.008 ETH in here and then set it to minimum five leverage, start up a position and then just close it instantly. And then you could confirm this quest. And additionally, you're going to need to put at least 0.004 ETH into a KLP pool. And how you do that is you go over here to earn, you press on KLP pool, and you're gonna need to buy some K KLP what I did was, I think it was like 15 or 20, yeah, it was $20 worth. So I bought 20, not 20 ETH, but $20 worth of ETH for KLP. And that'll just automatically stake it and you'll be able to claim your quest for that, right? So once you're done with that, we're going to go into Legend Games. Now, this is what I was telling you about before where the panda does come into play and as you can see only 21,000 mar er, participants which is if you know me that's very bullish because i like under farmed quests i personally did that for manta and it paid out quite well but enough of that we're just gonna do this here so you're gonna need to complete this quest first because you're gonna need funds on opbnb right and you're gonna have to mint a ticket first on the legend game. And I'll show you exactly the guide to do that. Dude, this might be TOS. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that. It actually might be TOS. Hold on. <laughs> this might be TOS, dude. Okay, but all right, I'm not gonna show the game in depth because I, it probably does break terms of service as you could just tell by my reaction you kind of could kind of guess how that would go although the uh, the quest here on layer 3 does do a really good job at telling you kind of what to do but I'll basically just give you the rundown so what you're going to need is you're gonna need a, a ticket and those tickets come from these Pandra Kings but what you could also do is you could buy these tickets on the open market for like dirt cheap. And I mean like 20 cents each, right? So just give me one second. Let me find the link. So just found it, but here's the, uh, here's the official thing. So what you're going to need is at least one of these tickets, right? It's 44 cents. So you just pay it, you buy it, but I can't show you in the game. It's actually just realized it's currently undergoing maintenance but what you're going to do is that ticket is going to show up in your game or whatnot in the ui and all you're going to do is mint what's called a resonator so you burn that ticket and you get another nft for that and then for the next part of the task you're going to summon or that's what summoning your resonator is and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to activate it so where you see all your resonators it's in like a tab on like the top right i believe all you're going to do is press one of those resonators that you just um got and activating it basically means sending it to another chain what is also nice is this does count as an nft transaction on polyhedral 
So as you could see, as you'll see in the game, it makes sense why they did it like this because it does generate them transactions and it does give them more in fees. But just be wary of the gas fees, like I said before. Then follow Legend Games and then you're done with the four tasks that are on layer three. And one last thing is you could use Merkley, right? As you can see, they do have their own tab right here. You could do the on NFT bridge or, well, you can't do this yet. And you could do the gas refuel. These are really simple. All you do is you have a certain list of chains. You mint one of the NFTs on that chain. You press mint, wait a little bit, and then you bridge over to that chain. That generates a transaction. Gas refuel, virtually the exact same thing. All you need to do here is, let me just connect my wallet real quick, is say I'm going from Polygon, right, over to Moonbeam, and I need some glimmer for gas. All you do, preview transaction, shows you exactly how much it's gonna cost. Press refuel. It'll send you to the transaction. As you can see, it is a 48% fee from going from Polygon to Moonbeam. I recommend trying to get as at least use one of each chain. If you don't have that timer, if you don't have your funds spread out like that, try to get from one chain to a bunch of others as the destination chain. Whichever the fees are good for you and that you can manage, then by all means makes sense but that's all i really have for you guys today there are a couple actually there are a couple galaxy quests so let's just go to that real quick so the only galaxy quests that they currently do have is just a couple social farming metrics and if you were some of the 30 30,000 people that did use the test net then you will be able to get extra points on here and extra discord discord rolls but personally, I didn't, so I just got a free couple points from just following and joining Discord. Did this on my other three wallets. Easy breezy. That's pretty much it for Galaxy, but the Galaxy Quest. But that's honestly also pretty much it for Polyhedral. If you guys have any questions, please leave that down in the description. I do know that it is it was a little funky, especially with the Legend games and like because I had to explain it. But it, once you guys see the game, you'll realize why I couldn't post it on YouTube. So you'll you'll know for that for that reason. But if you have any questions on that game specifically, please ask me. I know how to do it, so I'll be able to type out in the comments if you guys have any questions. But that's pretty much it for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.